Welcome back to Fast Gadgets. This is another video in the tutorial series, so if you're my regular subscriber you may or may not find this video as valuable as the usual ones. However, what we're going to be doing today is creating a virtual machine of Fedora 25 inside VMware Player. Uh, before you can do this particular tutorial, you do need to have a copy of Fedora 25 and 32-bit uh, or 64-bit. For the sake of the labs, it might be best to have the 32-bit edition, however. Now, I have already downloaded mine, so what I'm going to do is start VMware Player. If VMware Workstation Pro is installed, it also comes with... Uh, VMware player which is free and can be used on any computer and freely downloadable. So I will start VMware player <clears throat> and you'll see I already have a machine here but I am going to delete this one so that we don't get them confused and I will now click create a new virtual machine and I am going to use uh, a ISO file which is essentially a virtual CD if you will so I've got the Fedora workstation 64-bit uh, version although for this particular uh, lab series a 32-bit version is preferred mainly because uh, we know that almost every computer will support it uh, so I will click open and I now have the ISO selected as my installer disk image file. Then I'll click Next and I'll go ahead and leave the title as Fedora 64-bit but I do want to point out that this particular location is going to save it on the C drive. If for any reason you were on a public computer such as a lab computer you would not want to save it in that location. You would want to click Browse and usually you would have a uh, external hard drive set up that should show up here under this PC that you could save your virtual machine to, which is the best bet. Otherwise, if you save it to the lab computer, once the lab computer shuts down, depending on where you're at, for the most cases, um, it will erase your virtual machine or any data that you've had on that particular lab computer. Uh, for this particular video I'm gonna save it on the C drive but you should be saving it on an external drive and I would like to point out it cannot be a USB thumb drive because they're too slow. We can set it up so that you could copy the virtual machine to a thumb drive but thumb drives are just too slow. It really needs to be a USB 3.0 um, hard disk, an external hard disk. So I'm going to click next and I'm going to change this to 40 gigabytes. 20 gigabytes is probably more than suitable but we're going to go ahead and use 40 gigabytes and the split virtual disk into multiple files allows us to if needed copy this particular virtual machine to a thumb drive temporarily to transfer it to another computer say. So for compatibility sake it's the best setting. So I will click next and I'm just gonna look through all the settings really quickly. Everything looks good. I think one thing that I will change, I'm gonna customize hardware. I'm gonna click on the network adapter and I'm gonna change the network connection to bridged. So that basically means that this computer is going to appear as an actual computer on the network that we're going to be on. And I'll click close. And once I click finish, it's going to power on the virtual machine now. It's going to try to do the install, auto install, but it actually doesn't work because this is a live CD. So I'll click finish. And I'm just going to get rid of this menu and I'm going to click inside the screen and then I don't have a mouse anymore so I can only use at this point right now the arrow keys. So I'll use the up or down arrow and I'm going to click, well actually I'm going to select Start Fedora Workstation Live 25.
All right, so eventually our screen comes up to this basic screen. We can try Fedora right off of the live CD, or we can install to the hard drive. And we are going to select install to hard drive. So one click will get us started. All right, I'm going to leave the default settings of English and click continue. <clears throat> and I'm gonna click installation destination and it already has the drive clicked so all I have to do is click done and then I'll click begin installation and depending on the speed of your system this may or may not take 20 to 30 minutes give or take uh, while I'm waiting, I'm going to click root password and I'm going to type in a default password of capital P at SSW0RD and I have to type it in again to confirm and I'll click done. And I am going to create a basic user. And you pretty much can call it anything you want. Notice that my actual username will be lowercase, which is the way I want it. Now I'm going to make this user an administrator as well. And then I'm going to type in the password, P, capital P, at SSW0RD capital P at SSW0RD. Doesn't matter what you set the password for. The important thing is that you remember what the password is because if you don't, uh, you will end up having to recreate your virtual machine. Now it's telling me that I have a weak password and it's true and I would not use this password in a production system but I'm gonna click done again and just leave the password as it is. So I've now created the root password and I've created a user who is an administrator and all I have to do is wait for the installation to finish and then shortly after we'll be rebooting this system. Alright once the system has completely installed you'll get this message and we want to quit the installer and then we're going to click the little power button up here and I'll click the power button here and I need to do a restart because right now we're still in the live CD so I'll click restart so when the system reboots it should ignore the live CD. If not, we will take it out of our virtual disk drive. Nope, it did correctly. So you can see right here that it is the actual menu that we would get once we have Fedora installed. Now I clicked on the screen. I'm going to show you that again. I press Control and Alt on the left side so that I can get the mouse back and I can actually move the mouse anywhere on the screen. Now you'll notice when I hover over the virtual machine I see a hand. If I click in there my mouse is now tied to the virtual machine. We're gonna fix that in just a second. Uh, when we install the VMware virtual machine drivers that are designed specifically for the host we then will be able to move the mouse back and forth and we can actually drag and drop software from the host machine into the actual virtual machine. So I'm just going to go ahead and log in as Mark. Okay, so our virtual machine is booted up. Now, usually when an auto install occurs, it also installs the virtual machine tools, the VMware tools, and that's what we're hoping. So we're going to finish this really quickly and we want English US as our keyboard which is already selected 
And I'm going to turn off location services and automatic problem reporting because we really don't want the overhead. And it says start using Fedora. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close this, although it is a good tutorial. And I'm going to go back to player because what I want to do, if I go to manage, okay, I do not need to install the VMware tools. They were automatically installed, so we're okay. Uh, it all depends on what system you're installing it on. So if this was an older version of VMware Player, it's possible it didn't get installed, but these did get installed. So now you can see if I move the mouse, I can go right off and onto my regular computer, and I can move it back, and the mouse goes right back to the desktop, and so on. Uh, a couple of things that we're going to want to do, if I move the mouse over to the side here, and I can see all of the different options that I have available to me. So these are some programs that I can run. And I'm going to type in here, terminal. And I will now right click the terminal and click add to favorites. So if I press the escape key, I can now see that terminal is hanging out right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag, and I'm going to, well, I'm going to try anyway. There we go. So I'm dragging, and I'm holding the left mouse button, and I'm going to move the terminal up to the top, right under Firefox. So these will be the two programs that we're going to use most in this lab series. So I did receive a message that it had a problem connecting to the network, and I noticed here that it says wired off. So I'm going to click Connect. If there is a problem getting the network to connect, one thing that we can do is go into Player, Manage, Virtual Machine Settings, and we can go to Network Adapter, and we can also try NATID, which means Network Address Translation. And I will click OK. and it tells us that the connection failed. When you change the network like we just did from bridge to NATed, it's the equivalent of unplugging your network cable from one switch and plugging it into a different switch that's on a completely different network. So it has to get a new IP address. And it does look like we're connected, so we're going to go ahead and use the NATed settings from now on. So now if I click activities here and I click terminal if I type the ping command and google.com we can see that we do get successful completions of our ping so I'll press control C to break and I'm gonna go ahead and type exit to exit so this concludes the tutorial and the objectives that we wanted to successfully complete were to install Fedora 25 inside a virtual machine on VMware Workstation 12 and to put our terminal app, which we're going to use quite frequently, on our list of favorites. And the very last thing we want to do, and this is the case with virtual machines, it's very important to shut down the virtual machine correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and click the power button, and then I will click the power button again. And I'm going to click power off. If you do choose the X here, it can cause problems with your virtual machine, so don't use this. Do not use this X. Always do your shut off inside the virtual machine as if it was its own computer, even though it's a virtual machine. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode of Fast Gadgets.